so uh, so if you want to delete the minimum uh, so if you have to delete the minimum uh, the 4 is the minimum you already have the pointer to the uh, minimum so if you want to just delete this element uh, uh, so what you do is that just delete this element from the root list uh, but you take each of these children and add back to the uh, root list uh, so if you do that uh, then uh, the tree would look like this right so we just added deleted or uh, deleted the minimum node and added all the children of it into the root list so now you say Fibonacci here but the only problem is that uh, I need the pointer to the minimum I do not have the pointer to the minimum so after I delete the minimum I need to traverse through this list and uh, to keep track of the minimum so till now I was very lazy I was uh, not doing much but uh, now I don't know where the minimum is uh, the minimum can be any number in the root list so I am forced to go through the entire list to keep track of the minimum right so find out the minimum so the algorithm that we are going to apply is that we need to traverse through the entire list to find the minimum when will we do so we uh, we will do something more than what is required so our objective of traversing through the list is to figure out the what is the next minimum uh, but when we do that uh, we will try to do something uh, more right so what is that we are something to do uh, what is that we are going to do something more is that if I come across two trees with as the same rank I will merge them so remember what is the rank of uh, a node so rank of a node is the number of children of it right if I come across two nodes uh, which has the same rank then I will just merge them right so I will I am trying to traverse through the entire list to keep track of the minimum because the minimum has gone I have cut all the children and added to the root list but uh, this is a valid uh, Fibonacci here but the uh, only thing that I need is that I need the minimum so I tra start traversing through the root list which is a double link list when I tra start traversing if I come across two trees which has the same rank I will just merge them but if when I traverse uh, how will I know whether let's say that I came across a node whose rank is 10 how will I know whether there is already something which was rank 10 how will I keep track of it because uh, I should ensure that uh, at the end of this uh, this consolidation term uh, for each rank uh, there should be only one uh, tree because if I had uh, two trees with the same rank I'd, I I want to merge them the moment if there are two trees with the same rank I want to just merge them and keep track of only one okay so how do I keep how do I know uh, when I go to a node let's say the rank is 10 how do I know whether there is there is uh, another tree in the uh, root list whose rank is also 10 because I want to know that right if I have already uh, seen a, um, a tree with rank 10 then I would like to merge with that particular tree so this is done using a uh, table so you have a uh, simple array which is uh, whose size is uh, rank of h uh, so we will show that the rank of h is going to be uh, order of log of n right so uh, in particular it is 2 into log of n plus 1 right so you have to take a size of the table which is uh, 2 into log of n uh, that should be enough so what initially this will keep track of the pointer to uh, the nodes whose rank is uh, 1 right so in, in general if the ith node here the um, if I if you come across a uh, tree whose rank is i then uh, in rank of i uh, you're going to store the pointer to that right so initially all the pointers all all these pointers will be null now you start scanning through the uh, root list so every time when you come across a rank 4 let's say then you come back and check in the table whether there is a tree whose rank is 4 if it is uh, pointing to something that means that uh, there is uh, already a tree uh, whose rank is 4 and this table will give you the pointer to the tree whose rank is 4 the moment uh, you have another uh, tree with the same rank you merge these two when you merge you just ensure that uh, uh, the node with the smaller one becomes the root and the uh, node with the higher one becomes the child because uh, after the merge we want to ensure that uh, the heap property is satisfied okay so the algorithm is simple you scan through from left to right uh, yeah, when you come across a node you go and check in the table if there is a uh, tree with the same rank if the, there is a tree with the same rank delete that from the uh, uh, tree uh, take that pointer and merge it so you have a new tree now go and check in the table whether it is uh, another tree with the same rank is there or not if it is that keep merging it the moment you come across a tree which uh, who, you know, with the, uh, such a 
uh, rank tree is not there then you go and uh, put it in the table saying that uh, the pointer to a rank uh, pointer to a tree whose rank is uh, this particular tree uh, let's say it's 10 uh, is uh, this right so in particular if i if i had to store uh, if there is no tree of uh, rank i then in the rank of i i'm going to store the pointer to the node whose uh, rank is actually is equal to i so if it is null essentially means that uh, if i come across a tree whose rank is 12 and the 12th entry he is pointing to null that means that there is no tree with uh, uh, rank 12 so what i basically do is that uh, whatever uh, is the pointer that i have i'll store it here so that in future if i come across another tree with the same rank i can come back and merge with this because uh, the pointer is available here let's try to do that so i start with uh, uh, 24 uh, rank of this is one i go to the table table is empty now so there's no pa there is no uh, rank one number so i go to the next one so the rank of this is two again uh, so this is the first time i'm seeing a uh, element whose rank is two now i go to 64 when i come to 64 again this rank of this is zero there is no children for it so again this is the first time uh, i'm going to see this right so in the table so what uh, so if i had to draw this table so yeah so this is zero one nine two this uh, so when i made the entry here this 24 is pointing to this right so so whatever is the pointer of 24 will be stored in the table at tf1 and um, so the 14 will be stored at uh, uh, tf2 and uh, the 64 will be stored at tf0 because this rank is uh, 64 so now i go to 23 23 has rank 1 so i come to the table and see that there is another element uh, whose rank is 24 this is not pointing to null it's pointing to 24 that means that both the trees which are rooted at 24 and uh, 23 have the same rank so our algorithm says that just merge these two when i merge these two trees i have to ensure that the 23 uh, is smaller than 24 that is so 23 continues to be uh, the uh, <coughs> uh, root of the merge tree right so after you merge uh, so what you're going to get is this one right so you so merging basically means that if i give you uh, two trees uh, make one as a child of the other tree so we uh, so you know, like compare these two values whichever is smaller becomes a root other no one node becomes the child so we had 23 and uh, 24 um, so i went since 24 is smaller than this uh, i merged it and got it so the rank of this is two now so now i go to the table in the table there is another tree with the same rank that is 14 okay so i have to merge uh, these two trees now when i merge these two trees the 14 is the smaller number so the trees are uh, rooted at 14 becomes the uh, root of the subtree and 23 becomes the uh, child of uh, the next child of uh, 14 right so this is the way the, the tree looks like now there is a tree whose rank is 3 there is a tree whose rank is uh, 1 so the so now i come to uh, 60, uh, 64 is already done so the next number that i'm going to see is uh, 29 so 29 is again an element whose rank is 0 so in the table uh, uh, 0 is pointing to 64 because this is another element whose rank is same so what we do is that you merge uh, 24 uh, 64 with 29 so 29 becomes the root and 64 becomes the child uh, once i did that uh, again uh, this became a uh, uh, the number of uh, the rank of this became one so when i go to 59 again there is another tree with the rank one so these two also will be merged so at the end of this algorithm so what i get is the the uh, root list will have two trees uh, one is uh, uh, 14 another one is 29 and this is what uh, is the resultant of the consolidation uh, consolidation step so while we did all these things i was keeping track of the minimum node so after so so the minimum is at 14 so from now onwards uh, so what i know the minimum will point to 14 and this is the fibonacci heap that i have after the consolidation in summary uh, so what we did is that in order to delete the minimum so it has two parts cut the children and add the children of uh, the node that needs to be deleted into the root list uh, that's the first operation that i did so when i did this i lost the minimum so i did consolidation the main objective of consolidation was that uh, i need to keep track of the i need the minimum now among all the elements which are there in the root list which i don't have so i don't have any other option other than the traversing through the root list and figuring out what is the minimum 
when i did this uh, this is where uh, exactly the uh, lazy principle that uh, i spoke of in the beginning of the video comes into picture i am forced to traverse the list so i do something more than what is required my only thing that i need to do is find the minimum uh, in the root list but when i do that i will consolidate all the trees which has the same rank i will merge all the trees which has the same rank i do this because in future if i have to do some certain operations that will be easy for me for example if i have to do the delete min again in the next operation the number of trees left in the collection will be small because i am doing uh, a lot of merges during consolidation we will show that uh, when you analyze the delete minimum we'll break it into two parts one part is cutting the children and adding into the root list and the other part is uh, the consolidation that we are trying to do so in uh, so we will show that the both the parts uh, the complexity uh, the number of operations that you do is at most uh, rank of edge and uh, so we will also show that the rank of edge is order log n which basically means that the deleting the minimum uh, is actually uh, order n, order log n time so now let's focus on uh, proving these individual points uh, when i cut the children and add it to the root list what is the amortized cost so this log of n and draw order rank of h is the actual is not the actual cost uh, it is um, actually the amortized cost because uh, i might add n numbers so if i add n numbers what i essentially have is a double link list now if i call the delete function uh, one, the only node goes off and i am uh, forced to traverse through the entire list so the actual cost of the operation can be as bad as uh, order n but if you do several such operations what we're saying is that the amortized cost is going to be order log n so when i say uh, we will show that uh, both are order uh, uh, rank of h uh, what i am referring to is the amortized cost so when i cut the children and uh, add it to the root list let's look at what is the amortized cost amortized cost is defined as the actual cost plus the change in potential what is the actual cost actual class is actually equal to uh, ignoring some constants you just look at all the children of it and cut them from the root list and add to the uh, root list right so you look at every child and uh, cut this um, add it to the root list so the number of such operations that we are going to do is rank of h you let's say that x is the number that i have deleted right so this is the node with the minimum number i deleted it so i look at all the children of it how many children of it by definition it's the rank of x right so so many things are added to the the root list right so so the amount of time that i will end up spending is uh, uh, doing this is uh, order rank of h um, uh, strictly speaking i should write here order of rank of h plus uh, uh, plus uh, i had to worry about what is the change in potential so the ch potential function is defined as uh, number of trees plus twice into number of mark nodes the number of mark nodes don't change here right so unless the node that we have deleted is a mark node the number of nodes uh, the mark nodes uh, decreases by one otherwise the number of mark nodes uh, don't change even if uh, there is a change it only decreases as long as the potential decreases we don't have to worry right so what is the change in potential so i uh, removed all the children of x the number of such children is uh, rank of x and added to the root list so the number of trees after i did this operation increased by rank of x because all the children came back to the root list so, so the number of uh, uh, trees in the fibonacci heap collection went up by rank of x so the potential uh, change in potential is uh, rank of x and the actual cost of the operation is uh, let's just make it as uh, order uh, rank of x okay so the amortized cost is the actual cost plus the change in potential um, so both are rank of x so this is uh, uh, rank of x is smaller than or equal to rank of h because the uh, rank of h is the maximum possible uh, rank of any element right x is one such element so uh, rank of x uh, should always be smaller than the rank of h so by definition the total amortized cost of uh, cutting the children and adding into the root list amortized cost of it is uh, order rank of h now let's look at uh, so what really happens in the consolidation let's uh, focus on the merge operation so what really happens when i do the merge so when i do the merge uh, the number of uh, operations that i'm doing is one right so i had to just make some pointer changes which is order one but what is the change in potential 
again when i do the merge the number of mark nodes don't change what really changes is the uh, the number of trees so when i do the merge the number of trees reduces by one so the change in potential is minus one so the amortized cost of a merge operation is basically equal to the actual cost uh, actual cost plus the change in potential the actual cost is one but the change in potential is minus one so the amortized cost of a merge operation is zero right so the merge is uh, free for me right so so the amortized cost of the console consolidation uh, is basically you don't uh, worry about uh, so in the consolidation term you are doing two things either uh, when you go to a node either you are merging it or if uh, if it cannot be merged with some node you make a uh, entry in the table and move to the next one right so if you are moving uh, if you are if you are moving to the next one you have made some comparison you have made some changes in the table but if you are merging it the cost of merging is zero right so the total amortized cost of consolidation is exactly equal to the number of trees that are left after the consolidation right so because uh, for every tree which is not been merged it will continue to be there in your collection so the amortized cost of the oper such an operation is is equal to the total number of uh, trees that are left right so you can think of this as the consolidation term to be the number of trees that are left plus the number of mergers that you did so when you go to a node either you are merging it or uh, you are basically uh, moving it to the next one if you are moving it to the next one this particular tree will continue to be there so the number of trees left at the end plus uh, the number of mergers so that is done is the amortized cost of the consolidation term, consolidation operation but uh, we have already seen that the number of merge operations is uh, amortized cost of a merge operation is zero so the amortized cost of a consolidation is equal to the number of trees which are left at the end of the uh, consolidation uh, but the number of trees that are left at the end of the consolidation can only be order h plus one so why is this true because uh, after the consolidation for every rank there can be at most one tree because if I had come across two trees which are of the same rank, I will merge these two trees. So the, if you take any tree in the collection, the rank of that should be between 0 and the rank of H. But the, if you give me any specific number, there can be only one uh, tree that is possible. There, can be more, there cannot be two trees with the same rank. So each tree can only take a unique number between 0 and rank of H. So the number of such possible trees is only rank of H plus 1. So the amortized cost of the consolidation of operation is uh, smaller than or equal to rank of uh, H plus 1. Which so in summary, in delete minimum, we deleted the node and um, added all the children of that to the root list. Uh, and we have seen that uh, the amortized uh, cost of this operation is uh, order rank of H. And then we did consolidation. The main objective of doing consolidation was uh, to find the uh, tree with the minimum uh, node so when we did this we merged two uh, trees if the ranks were same we have seen that the amortized cost of such an operation is zero so the, uh, the amortized cost of the consolidation operation is the the number of trees that are left at the end of the consolidation uh, step which is uh, at most which is actually order rank of edge so the entire running time of the delete min uh, operation is uh, rank of edge in one of the next videos, we're going to show that uh, in any Fibonacci heap, uh, rank of H uh, yeah, will be smaller than two times log of n. This would imply that the uh, delete main op, uh, is actually in can be done in order log n. It's important to note that uh, the amortized cost is order log n, but the actual cost of a particular operation can be as bad as order n. Okay. So when if you do a sequence of operation, then uh, the amortized cost will be order log n for a delete min operation. In the next video, we'll come back and see another interesting uh, operation uh, operation on the Fibonacci heaps, which is uh, the decrease key operation.